Palaroga Shark Media. Hi, and welcome to Taylor Swift Today, a short roundup of all the headlines around Taylor's music, tours, movies, and life. A conspiracy theory has emerged in conservative social media circles, suggesting that the NFL is rigging games to ensure that Taylor Swift's boyfriend's team, the Kansas City Chiefs, makes it to the Super Bowl and wins it as part of a plan to secure an endorsement for President Biden in the presidential election. Taylor Swift's recent surge in popularity, fueled by her highly successful The Heiress Tour, a successful concert movie, and her relationship with Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey, has attracted political attention. The Biden campaign is reportedly interested in securing an endorsement from Swift, considering it a dream endorsement opportunity. However, this heightened interest in Swift's potential endorsement has also given rise to unfounded conspiracy theories within conservative circles. Some on the right have speculated that the recent victory of the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Championship game, despite being the underdogs, is part of a larger plan to pave the way for a Biden endorsement. These theories, often circulated on social media, highlight the intersection of politics, celebrity culture, and sports in the digital age. Prominent figures like former GOP presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy have engaged in speculations about the Super Bowl outcome and potential presidential endorsements, contributing to the spread of these conspiracy theories. This phenomenon underscores the impact of celebrity endorsements and their perceived political significance leading to the creation of unfounded narratives in the digital age. In a recent episode of The Megyn Kelly Show, host Megyn Kelly criticized conservatives who were concerned about the potential influence of Taylor Swift endorsing Joe Biden in the presidential election. Kelly, who has previously taken issue with Swift for various reasons, including her response to a joke at the Golden Globes and her support of pro-Palestinian charities, dismissed the idea that Swift could brainwash Americans into voting Democrat as a conspiracy theory. She noted that some conservatives she respected were promoting this theory and questioned why people were so afraid of Swift. Kelly acknowledged Swift's power and influence, but pointed out that while Swift had encouraged people to register to vote, it didn't guarantee they would actually vote. Kelly highlighted that other celebrities like George Clooney had endorsed candidates in the past without achieving success. She suggested that Swift and her boyfriend, Pfizer and Bud Light pitchman Travis Kelsey, were likely to lean left in 2024, as they had publicly in 2020. However, she questioned why people were living in fear of Swift and criticized her for attending the comedy show that raised funds for Palestine Kelly believed that if Swift did endorse Biden, it might signal the end of a celebrity cycle in America where stars are built up and then torn down. She also suggested that it would be better for Swift to remain non-political, even if it meant not being the most popular person in America among Republicans. Her guests, conservative commentator Glenn Beck and Britt Mayer, agreed that viewing Swift as part of a conspiracy was unfounded. Conservative influencer Benny Johnson argued that the extensive coverage of Swift was orchestrated and labeled it as fake, suggesting that Americans were being manipulated. Taylor's potential endorsement of President Joe Biden for re-election has sparked discussions and concerns among members of the MAGA right wing. Those close to former President Donald Trump, including campaign members, right-wing media allies, and outside advisors, have been anticipating Swift's potential endorsement of Biden in the 2024 election. While Swift has not officially endorsed any candidate, her name has appeared on Biden aides wish lists of potential surrogates. Rumors of Swift possibly appearing at Super Bowl 58 alongside her boyfriend, have fueled conspiracy theories among the MAGA right, suggesting that the NFL season has been manipulated to favor Biden. Behind the scenes, Trump has not reacted with alarm to the possibility of Swift endorsing Biden. Instead, he has projected confidence, stating that no amount of A-list celebrity endorsements will save Biden. Trump has privately asserted that he is more popular than Swift and boasts a larger and more dedicated fan base according to sources close to the former president. In addition, Trump expressed his belief that he should have been named Time Magazine's 2023 Person of the Year, a title awarded to Taylor Swift in December, 
considering it obviously unjust. These revelations shed light on the political and cultural dynamics surrounding celebrity endorsements and their potential impact on elections. More in a moment. Travis Kelsey's whirlwind romance with Taylor Swift has been brought to life in a captivating series of comic book sketches. Tidal Wave Comics, known for its fame series highlighting the life stories of prominent individuals, has included the nine-time pro bowler in its latest release, set to hit shelves on February 7th. This glossy comic chronicles Kelsey's journey through college and the NFL, showcasing his achievements on and off the field. In addition to his football career, it delves into his endeavors as a TV show host, most notably his appearance on Saturday Night Live, his weekly podcast, and his philanthropic work. Notably, certain pages are dedicated to capturing the essence of his ongoing relationship with Taylor Swift. The Kelsey Swift romance has taken center stage in the NFL this season, causing a surge in social media engagement and boosting merchandise sales for the league. Tidal Wave Comics also recently updated its Taylor Swift comic book, featuring the singer in a cheerleader outfit. As Kelsey and the Chiefs gear up for the Super Bowl rematch against the San Francisco 49ers in Las Vegas on February 11th, Swift is expected to make a speedy transition from her heiress tour show in Tokyo to join the Super Bowl festivities. ESPN's Ian Rappaport reported that Swift is willing to fulfill both her singing and cheerleader roles by making the long journey from Asia, citing the possibility due to time zone advantages. Rappaport posed the intriguing question on NFL game day. No doubt, the biggest question heading into this game, if the Chiefs win, will Taylor Swift be at the Super Bowl? Sources seem to indicate that the answer is yes. Brittany Mahomes and Taylor Swift were all smiles during a joyful encounter. In a heartwarming Instagram post shared by Mahomes, who is the wife of quarterback Patrick Mahomes, a series of photos captured their delightful moments. These snapshots were taken during the Kansas City Chiefs AFC Championship game against the Baltimore Ravens, where the Chiefs emerged victorious. Taylor and Brittany, radiating happiness, posed together after the thrilling victory. The first two images featured both women wearing the AFC champions hats of their significant others, striking poses at the top of the stadium. Taylor Swift shared an affectionate hug with Brittany in the first photo. Brittany's radiant smile contrasted with Taylor's expression of amazement. In the subsequent photo, Brittany laughed in the direction of Swift, who struck a playful pose. In addition to the images of Swift and Brittany, the post also showcased a photo with Lindsay Bell, the wife of Chiefs tight end Blake Bell. The trio gathered for a photo where Taylor Swift held a beverage in one hand and placed her other hand on the pregnant belly of Lindsay Bell. Brittany joined in, cradling Lindsay Bell's baby bump, while all three women wore red and white attire in support of their significant other's team. The photos captured the joyous camaraderie and shared celebration between Brittany Mahomes and Taylor Swift, painting a heartwarming picture of their time together at the AFC Championship game. Travis Kelsey's connection to Taylor Swift had a surprising twist. The Kansas City Chiefs player famously attempted to connect with Swift at one of her summer concerts, which ultimately led to their romantic relationship. However, it turns out that he may not have needed to go to such lengths for an introduction. During a recent appearance on the SiriusXM podcast, Let's Go with Tom Brady, Larry Fitzgerald, and Jim Gray, Chiefs coach Andy Reid revealed that he already knew Swift before his player met her. I knew her before from Philadelphia. Her dad, Scott Swift, played at the University of Delaware and was a big football fan and a good guy, Reed disclosed. I had met him there, and her. He went on to mention that the superstar singer and her fans had been great. Reed humorously noted that Kelsey wasn't exactly thrilled to find out that Swift knew his coach before meeting him. That was the last thing Trav wanted to hear, that I knew her before him, Reed quipped adding that Swift had told Kelsey, I know your coach, which left the tight end exclaiming, oh God, come on. Reed continued to praise Swift, describing her as a good girl and expressing happiness for Travis Kelsey. He also emphasized that the media spotlight on their relationship hadn't caused any problems and that both Kelsey and Swift had handled it with maturity. 
As the Chiefs prepared to face the San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl 58, this unexpected connection between Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift, and Coach Andy Reid added an intriguing layer to their journey. And there you have it. Please follow us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or your app of choice. And if you like the show, hit those five stars on Apple. It really helps us out. I'm Annalise Idle. Thanks to Mark Francis and John McDermott. This is Taylor Swift Today. Today.